In the video that you're about to see, I'm going to explain step by step how to get Windows Media Center installed on Windows 10. Uh, there is a caveat though that it needs to be a clean installation of Windows 10 and if you update to the new anniversary build of Windows 10 it will remove the Windows Media Center. You can turn that off by going to settings, update and security. You want to go to advanced options and then you want to check off defer upgrades because you do not want that 1600 build of Windows 10 to go on there or it will remove your media center installation. Also if you plan on putting a media center extender on you will also need to do that right initially when you do these steps before doing any updates to your Windows 10. So anyway on to the video where I just did a clean install of my Windows 10 without having any updates applied and then proceeded from there. And uh, please uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Hello, I'm going to show you how to install Windows Media Center on Windows 10. You will need to first have a clean installation of Windows 10 without any updates applied. So when you install Windows 10, if you're using a desktop computer, you need to make sure that you have no network connection plugged in. <clears throat> um, I'll have a download link in my description on where to download the file that you'll need for this video. So anyway, this is Windows 10 as you can see. Clean install, nothing, no updates installed. And I installed my graphics drivers. So you're going, when you download, if you check the link in my description, you're going to get this file, which is a um, 7Z extension. So um, this one here. So if you download 7-Zip, which is a free program, or WinRAR, which is frankly a lot easier to use. So I'd recommend using WinRAR to extract it. And then you'll get this file, this folder called WMC X64. So that's if you have the 64-bit version of Windows installed. <clears throat> I'll also try to include a 32-bit version as well. So you're going to... Um, to install it, after you have your clean install of Windows 10, of course, you're going to right-click on the test rights file and run as administrator. Then you're going to choose yes. And then you're going to need to basically restart your computer. But let me show you what happens if you don't restart your computer. You can right click on installer and run as administrator. Yes. Let's see if it works or not without a, re a restart. Okay, so it's working without a restart. Press any key to exit. Let me see what this workarounds file is all about. This workarounds file gives you technical information. If Windows Media Center does not find any tuners and on HG Home Run, restart the system. Manually back up WMC settings. Simple guide for a live TV. By the way, I'm going to be using the Seton TV Tuner. I have a network version of the Seton Infinity TV Tuner with six tuners. And the 8.1, the Windows 8.1 drivers installs fine and it seems to work fine on Windows 10. So this gives you a lot of technical information on what to do if you have any errors with the installation on the workarounds notepad. So anyway, at this point, let me reboot my computer. <clears throat> I 
and then go through the setup process and see if everything works. I've restarted my PC. I'm going to search for Media Center now. Oops. M -E -D -I. Windows Media Center. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to uh, pin to my taskbar and run. And there you go, Windows Media Center. So then you have the automatic setup. And there you go. Let me walk you through the setup that I'm going to be going through on here. But you know what? First, let me install my TV tuner drivers, my Seton drivers. Okay guys, so at this point I reconnected my internet connection. I installed my drivers, Windows 8.1 drivers, uh, for my Seton Infinity TV. And let me load in fin the uh, Windows Media Center. Uh, continue. Let me do, uh, let's do the Express setup. Extras library. I'm going to do the digital cable advisor. Install. Download. Accept. Yes. Next. Agree. Start test, which can take a little while. <coughs> Something really strange. When I install my um, Seton Infinity TV drivers, my sound stops working. Not exactly sure why. Eventually, it starts working again after a bunch of reboots, but I haven't put my finger on it yet. As to why it causes audio issues. Pretty bizarre. <clears throat> I'll cut back in when this analysis is done. So, it turns out that I forgot to press the record button when I returned before. So, I, the advisor finished, then I went to set up TV signal, and then chose next, did the play ready um, setup, and then entered my zip code for the TV setup data, which is where I'm at now. It off, on my previous version of the media center, I think kept on freezing at this point. I'm hoping that it'll finish this time. If it doesn't finish, I think there's a workaround to fix it, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll cut back in when it's done. So, yet again, the TV data could not be downloaded for God knows what reason. I'll see if I can find a workaround for that. In the meanwhile, let's continue on. So, I'm going to show more options here. I want to do it manually. I'm going to do my cable. No. Cable card. I'm going to select uh, two of my tuners. And let's see if this actually activates this time.
to cut back in when this is done. So it is working, except for the guide, it is working. So I'm going to see if I can sort that next. But this is an HBO channel, for example. 902. 903. That's all working. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, and this is a regular broadcast channel. Um, wait a minute. 502. Channel 2. So now I just have to see if I can get that um, that guide data sorted out, and I'll be all set. But so far, so good. This is further than I got on the previous version of Media Center that I tried to install. So we'll see. So this is the information in the workaround file on how to fix the guide data download issues. So I'm going to try to follow these instructions and see if it works. Okay, so Windows Media Center update. The workarounds worked without a problem. I had to do the following things to get the guide to download. I had to add a couple of files to my host file and, um, and then delete a couple files. <clears throat> so basically I couldn't download the guide so the, the fix for that was over here under the workarounds file so I opened up notepad to the following folder and then I added this line and then since I'm on the East Coast I down added this line to the end of the file and then I deleted uh, these two, uh, two files. I down mine was a 3 instead of a 2 so I had two files, a single file and a folder. Yes, so I deleted those two files, Ready. redid the setup, and now my I had a so I had to reset up the guide and everything. Once that was done, and now I have the guide, and everything is working properly. I can go to guide. I have my guide here. Here, let me go to a random channel. Let me go to um, an HBO channel. And just to uh, show you that it's working. So there you go. My audio is still glitching, but usually after a few restarts, I eventually end up getting it working. Um, and apparently the catalyst for it to stop working was when I installed my Seton Infinity TV driver. So I have no idea why that would cause it to stop working. But eventually it always ends up ends up working after a few restarts but um, yep there we have it it's working let me hit the record button record is working let me stop it so it's all good so that's how you install Windows Media Center on Windows 10 unfortunately for those of you that already have Windows 10 installed you'll have to reformat your computer and uh, reinstall Windows fresh without a network connection so that way you can install the updates that's the only way you're going to get the uh, Windows Media Center installed then from there you install your updates and whatnot so and I got my Windows Media installation file by going to Microsoft.com and downloading the Media Creator that's so I created my installation disk so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'd much appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing if you want to see more from me. Here, and uh, one last video and a couple of restarts later and updates. And my audio is back again. And uh, I did all the current updates on the computer now. Windows Media Center is still functioning. Let me run another random program really quick. And let me hit the record button. Let's go. 
me uh, stop it. Let's go here. And uh, then let's uh, do the playback. I have two tuners of my Turtle 6 available configured on this computer. Oh, I had a special. All right. Hmm. Stop that. Let's go here and let's stop this recording. Stop that and now let's go to record a TV. And this is a show that I was recording. You can see that the recording worked. So there we go. Windows Media Center seems to be working as it should on Windows 10 of all things so had a little bit of extra work I had to do those workarounds I had to add those two lines to the hosts file and then delete those couple files but then I was good to go so I'm happy so I can stick with Windows 10 instead of having to go back to Windows 7 again thank you for watching again please hit that like and subscribe button